The following is a selected video from yourteacher.com where you can browse over 450 complete math lessons with example videos, interactive practice problems, self-tests, and more. Try a complete lesson today at yourteacher.com. Here, we're asked to graph the parabola y minus 2 equals negative 1 seventh times parentheses x plus 7 squared using its vertex and intercepts, and write the equation of its axis of symmetry. Remember that our formula for a parabola is y minus k equals a times parentheses x minus h squared. And notice that h equals negative 7 and k equals 2, which means that the vertex of the parabola, h k, is negative 7, 2. So let's start by plotting this point on the graph. Next, to find the y-intercept of the parabola, we're looking for the point where it crosses the y-axis. And notice that any point on the y-axis has an x-coordinate of 0. So to find the y-intercept, we plug a 0 into our equation for x, and we have y minus 2 equals negative 1 seventh times parentheses 0 plus 7 squared. Simplifying on the right side, we have y minus 2 equals negative 1 seventh times 7 squared, or y minus 2 equals negative 1 seventh times 49. Negative 1 seventh times 49 is negative 7, so we have y minus 2 equals negative 7. And adding 2 to both sides, y equals negative 5. So the y-intercept of the parabola is negative 5, which is the point 5 units down on the y-axis. Next, to find the x-intercepts of the parabola, or the points where the parabola crosses the x-axis, remember that we plug a 0 into our equation for y, and we have 0 minus 2 equals negative 1 seventh times parentheses x plus 7 squared. Simplifying on the left side, we have negative 2 equals negative 1 seventh times parentheses x plus 7 squared. Now to get x by itself, we first get rid of the fraction on the right side of the equation by multiplying both sides by 7. That gives us negative 14 equals negative 1 times x plus 7 squared. Next, we divide both sides by negative 1, and we have 14 equals x plus 7 squared. Since the squared term is now by itself, we can take the square root of both sides of the equation, and we have plus or minus root 14 equals x plus 7. Remember to always use plus or minus when square rooting both sides of an equation. Using our calculator, we find that the square root of 14 is approximately equal to 3.7. So we have plus or minus 3.7 equals x plus 7. Now to get x by itself, we subtract 7 from both sides, and we have negative 7 plus or minus 3.7 equals x, which means that negative 7 plus 3.7 equals x, or negative 7 minus 3.7 equals x. Negative 7 plus 3.7 is negative 3.3, so negative 3.3 equals x, and negative 7 minus 3.7 equals negative 10.7, so negative 10.7 equals x. So the x-intercepts, or the points where the parabola crosses the x-axis, are negative 3.3 and negative 10.7. Now we draw our parabola by connecting the vertex and the intercepts. Remember that a parabola is symmetrical, so we can approximate its shape based on our given points. Finally, Remember that the axis of symmetry is the line that splits the parabola down the middle, and the equation of the axis of symmetry 
is always x equals h. So here, since h equals negative 7, the equation of the axis of symmetry is x equals negative 7.